This week we've got a special episode for you. We thought we'd change it up a little bit. One of our sponsors, Travis Robertson, the owner of the Wicked Liquid Creations, invited us to go out to Oklahoma with him to snag some spoonbill. Now, we've never seen this on TV. I'm not saying that it hasn't ever been aired on television, but I've never seen snagging spoonbill or paddlefish, as some people call them, on a hunting show or a fishing show. So we decided, hey, we've never done this. We'll go. I'd went one other time, and it snagged for days, and we didn't get nothing. And I, my buddy Terry and my son and everybody, nobody else had done this. So Travis swore to us he had a spot on the Grand River in Oklahoma where we would get a boat full of spoonbill, and we, we just couldn't wait to take him up on it. Yeah. Huh? So is this the, the boat? That's so. Uh, if that won't work, Travis, I don't know what will. Woo. Oh, that's a nice boat. I see something off already. Like boys. Look at all that space to put that tripod for that camera. Uh -huh. Woo. That bottom. That right there is what I copy fish with right there, boys. Yeah. yeah. Right there. I'm glad you brought my copy rod. That's what I hey, like. Hey, I seen one of them down at Mullen Park one time. That ain't no joke. You can't make that up. <laughs> boys, I'm ready. We're going to get loaded up. Well, after a short drive, we finally get down there and get to back the boat in. And we want to say a special thanks to Cowtown USA for loaning us this boat to take out because, you know, we're big old boys. And you start piling all of us in one boat with a boat full of big paddlefish and uh, a canoe ain't going to cut it. So we want to plug Cowtown USA. We want to thank you guys for loaning us this fine boat and motor to put in down here and chase after the spoonbill.
At Living the Dream Outdoor Properties, we believe it all starts with a love for the land. From working cattle ranches to hunting retreats, large timber tracks to river and lake hideaways, we value the tradition and freedom that land gives us. We appreciate your business and thank you for choosing Living the Dream. To get where you want to be in life, as a man, as a dad, as a hunter, you will carry some heavy loads, and through them we realize that virtues like strength and reliability matter most, from ourselves and our gear. Ultimately what matters is not the weight of the load, but how we carry it. Alps Outdoors. Now the first one to hook up is old T. Old T rears back into one and it looks like he's got a friggin' well on. He's pulling a boat around. Just take a look at this. Now, I don't know if you've ever hooked a fish in a strong current before, but it doesn't matter what size that fish is, it feels like you have an absolute whale on the end of your line. fought this fish around for about 10 minutes and it was like I had a monster on the end of the line and it's all because of the current where I'd hooked the fish in the tail I believe and I was ready to tag out I was, I was about ready to reach over to Cody and tag out on this one First one in the boat from Vigilantes. Ah. Well, I tell you what, as you've seen, Terry hooked this fish in the tail. 
it was swimming against the current, and he's running water, so you could tell the water of the current was unbelievable. So it felt like about a 300-pound fish, I'm sure, and as you can tell, Terry was wore out at the end of that battle. Now it's Travis's turn to show us how it's done. Watch this boy as he grabs onto this big one. All right. Yep, now see his bill? You can grab his bill and see how it's bowed out at the top so it's like a handle, you know? Yeah. There you go. Now just got to hold it tight. Both hands real tight. And drag him in. Come on, Mike. Get him in there, Slick. There you, go. there you go. There you go, buddy. All, All right, now hold, hold his tail. Look at that. So he can't flop What's around. your pole? Did you land like that. the end, son? Is that a keeper? Huh? Is that a keeper? Yeah, it's just an average one. Hey, that's a that, See, that big. looks big to me. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean that looks big to you? Well, I haven't seen this thing before, so it's kind of... Different. Got it. Hey Peyton. Yeah. See if you let's hold that up after we get a picture of him. Get, get you on set your mom too. Oh. Look at that. He's gonna make it look real big. Ta da! Look at me. Ta da! Grab that thing, Peyton, real quick before he throws it back. Yep. <laughs> we'll send that to your mom. She'll be like, what? Yeah, just grab it right there. Right there. See, hurt you. Right where I got my hand right here. It's like a handle. Pinch right there. You grab it, son. There. there you go. And grab a spoon. Yep. If you, there you go. Oh, Lord. <laughs> here you go. You're going to have to get your arm right and see you. Turn him around here. Ready? Okay. <laughs> son. Holy shit. That's what they look like. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Well, it's your turn now. Way to go, Trav. Woo. Look good. What are you wanting, son? You want to see that? You have to send that to me. <laughs> <laughs> you have to send that to me. What's that? Son, it's your turn. When I get him, it's going to be like Moby Dick. You watch this, son. Is this better than It'll drag us. You went on, though? No, I, I've never. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two, three days, nothing but a catfish. Yeah, this is a lot better. It's just going to get better. That's about average size, what we've been catching. Yeah. yeah that's that's going to be that's, some big ones. I mean, you'll get something about. 20 to 30 pounds more like a big female with a bunch of eggs. That's what you I'm know. talking about right there. I'm ready. Yeah, really. Oh, son, I got to get me one now. He made that look yeah, easy. You see how he did that, though? Yours bit. That ain't fair. Huh? Yours yeah, in yeah. the mouth. They're he bit right it. The mouth. They're easy to reel when you reel full. <laughs> he bit he, You cheated. You oh, snagged you yours to right tail. In. All right, boys. We are tearing them up. This got to send some trophy pictures. Right Rub it in a little bit to the guys. Now Peyton's turn. He's up to bat. He hooks into one. <laughs> oh, guys. Peyton. That one? Peyton got one. Are you serious? I'm help you. <laughs> I'm going to have to help him. He's going to go on the boat. No, no. No, no. Now we like to kid around and give Peyton a hard time. But, son, I'm telling you what, when you get a hold of one of these fish, it's all you can do just to try to keep yourself in the boat. I think next year we're going to have to get Peyton a pair of lead boots or something because, as you can see, a couple times here when he hooks into a fish, it just about takes him in the water. Oh, guys. Peyton. Got one? Peyton got one. Are you serious? I'll help you. <laughs> I'm going to have to help him. He's going to go on the boat. Keep real. Yep. He'd be on the motor? Nah, he, he, he can get him in. He's headed this way. Keep him, keep him coming. Eat doggy. That must be in this hole. Now I got him, guys. Don't worry. There you go. Like, when, there you go. There you go. Hang on, pull, pull up like that and then reel as you go down. There he is. There you go, Peyton. Oh my son, look at that, Peyton. This is one of the good fun. Now Peyton has never caught anything like this. This is my son Peyton. He's 16 years old. He was really wanting to go. He's been running a camera for us since he's about 12 years old. He, he's eager to do stuff for us. He never whines, never asks for anything in return. So 
I surprised him and took him on this trip. And to watch him hook into this fish, I have never seen this boy's face light up like he does when he hooks this first big paddlefish. Oh, holy cow. <laughs> Same one we just threw back. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> you he, said, -uh, he, said. he got excited, Sonny kicked the Sodi over to there. Woo! Look at that thing like bleeding. Right. Yeah, that's a good one. That's actually right bigger than those others. That's a good one, Pete. They ain't got no teeth or nothing, so they can't bite you. Okay. Yeah, they have no teeth, Pete. Yeah. That's the only thing. Another decision is you want to keep that big one? Yeah. I was going to say, I'm going to keep that one. All right. Keeping that one. Get all my stuff. No losing. Whatever you do. Stand up and heat him up there like a man. <laughs> if you want to, you just hold him by his mouth on both sides, Peyton. Set him down and get that same spot on both sides of him. It's both sides of his mouth, like two big handles. There you go. And then just hold him up. Get a good grip and just stand straight up with him. You hold on to him. Ugh. Holy moly. Turn him sideways so we can see. There you go. Smile at me. Hold on. Awesome. Yeah, boys. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was getting ready to send that Did picture of that other one. <laughs> hey, I got the hook set and everything on that, I think. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I'm down for the day. Yeah. Oh, you can just done. relax run, unless you want to throw him back, but I don't know that I would, Peyton. No, I'm not throwing him back. <laughs> All right. Uh, grab your wallet. Let's get your tag. Multi-use versatility. Single passion. Your hunt depends on great gear. Alps Outdoors. Exceed your expectations. in the other one now. He ain't, he ain't gonna get away, boys. We've got 27 hooks <laughs> in him. I'm probably scared to try to get in there. Hold on. Let me get clear and I'll grab it. I mean, I can't get in nowhere. Yeah. You don't understand the hooks. Is that in there? I think. Son, he's rolled in string. He's got 15 hooks, 15 <laughs> poles. Oh, son, I'm starting to wonder about that one. <laughs> so, <laughs> it wasn't pretty at the end, boys, but we got him. Woo! Look this way one time. Okay. You know, we got to me one time. I know he's heavy. Hang with me. Here we go. Awesome. Look bad from here. Oh, never mind. Keep him. Got a good wrap on him. Oh, I can feel him spinning in there. Oops, sorry. Careful, I know back up even harder. Lay still, fish. <laughs> By that gold thing won't be able to turn loose. <laughs> oh, I turned my back. <laughs> what, Peyton? Good thing I got the camera. 
All right, I got some. <laughs> Put it back? Yeah. Awesome. So, there you are. <laughs> See, I got one. Like I say, I know what it feels like now. Yeah. And that's that's half of it, just knowing what yeah. it, to feel, you know, the difference between it and everything else. Outdoor vigilantes, we're going to eat good tonight, boys. Son. <laughs> oh, my God. Boys, now this is something else here. <laughs> that one's got some shoulders, buddy. Oh, son. Son, dig in on him now. <laughs> Look at that broad tip twist up there. My eyes, see them? <laughs> they twisted on the pole. See, they're going different directions. The eyelets on my pole. Yeah, he wanted to fight us. We might have this one. Might have him in the tail. That's all right, boys. Feels like blue marlin in the Grand River. Uh, hey, that, is that a redneck blue marlin right son, there? Son, that's a redneck blue marlin. <laughs> Poor boy. Mix it Lobster. Up. Poor boy tuna. <laughs> son, where's he at? Boy, this one's got shoulders now. I'm about probably, to see it. I thought I about saw it I'll come probably up get right him up there. here and he'll be about two and a half pounds, probably. You're just wore out, that's all it is. Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, so Eastern Bob one. Yeah, he's up right there. Right the tail. <laughs> Made him feel like he's 75 pounds. I don't know, he's pretty good in the thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's about like that other one. Yeah. He's about like the other one, man. About like that other. Ain't no fun, though, is it? No, ain't no fun. I know he about jerked the rod out of my hand. You see it when I set the hook yeah, and spun me around? I wish I'd have got your Oh, son. Hey, are you getting this on the Yeah, video? I'm sitting here looking. Okay, so make sure. <laughs> oh, man. Woo! That time. He's getting him so. <laughs> Let me reel him. Oh. He wants to give it up, no, he? He wants to go straight down. <laughs> he wants to pay that. Hold on, I'm locking in the Can you get your pole down anymore and pull him up a little bit more? Well, it's not long and old Cody hooks into one. And he's fighting for all he's worth trying to get this fish in. He gets him up to the boat. And old Travis, he says, can you raise him up just a little bit so I can get a better grab on him? Well, Cody was just doing what he was told. And all of a sudden... He almost floated that way. Oh. Yeah. I guess you got that on film too, didn't you? <laughs> you wore out yet, Son. Just watch this little thing. Woo. Right, I'm going to drop him, all right? You go right here. You broke that pole, you sucker, boys. Brand new pole. That's I'm it. Not, I'm not. I'm not. It snapped right in the middle. Yeah. Woo. Lift him up nope, no more I than that. I broke one doing that. I pulled him. Huh. Hey, you heard the guy that said, see if you can get him pulled up. <laughs> I've never done that before. <laughs> oh, Just, son. Holy cow. Oh, yes, sir. There you go, Terry. Oh, you go. Big old female there. Oh, holy cow. You gotta get her out. <laughs> Vigilante's doubling up right here, son. Woo! Doubling up. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Right there for now, okay? Yes, sir. All right, yes, here. Sir. If you want to act like you're starting to act, like fix <laughs> <laughs> 
ready when you are. Just bring this down. Here. Right, no, 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 no flopping. No, no. Holy. Oh. Like it's uh, 2.30. We got on the water, what, 10? 10? 10.30 probably. Maybe 11. Already tagged out, baby. First day, Oklahoma. <laughs> Outdoor vigilantes. Woo, keeping it real. Son. Doubled up, me and OT. Finished out the day on a double. Broke my pole. I couldn't believe that one. Whew.